I'm not going to exhaust it, but let me begin the conversation about this, okay? <laughs> I'm not a psychologist, uh, but there's a distinction that some psychologists make between emotions and feelings. Uh, and what's the, what is the distinction? Uh, emotions are um, immediate. So immediate reaction. So if, so if you, for example, push me, okay, and I get <clears throat> irritated, okay, that's, that's an emotion, emotional reaction, okay? If I reflect on it, and then say, you know, that, that was all for, that's a feeling, okay? So a feeling is in an emotion integrated with reflection and thought. Not necessarily correct thought, okay? Okay, not necessarily correct, but there is a synthesis of your immediate reaction to some reflection, some thinking. I mean, because you're, you may end up having a feeling so deep and so powerful and so ugly that it ends up you doing something which is really inappropriate, okay? All right, now, so I'll make that, dis that one distinction. Now, if you look up the definition of the word anger, in a dictionary. They'll say that the root meaning of the word anger comes from a Norse word called A-N-G, which means loss or grief. Grief about what? Loss about what? Opportunity, injustice. All right, so let's just leave that aside for a second. And so that we, let's say to ourselves that the concept of anger, as I understand it, is rooted in the notion of loss and grief and memory. So those, those memories, that grief, that loss is always going to be there. And frankly, I don't know if I want it not to be there. All right. In the book of Numbers, there's an interesting passage. Now the man Moses was the meekest man who walked the face of the earth. I never could understand how Moses could be defined as not only meek, but the meekest man. So I look up the word meekness. Of course, I had a little help from a friend named William Barclay. But he says in his book, a commentary on Matthew's gospel, that the word meekness comes from a Greek word called P-R-A-U-S. And the word meekness in Aristotle means the capacity to be angry in an appropriate way, in an appropriate manner, and one that is controlled. <clears throat> And Barclay says we can't really understand this concept of meekness unless we understand, at least from Aristotle, that it's the mean between two extremes. One extreme is hatred, violence, destructiveness, ire, and the other extreme is the stoic ideal of apatheia. No feeling, total withdrawal. So for Aristotle, this concept of anger, prowess, is this mean between these two extremes. 